All right, welcome back to the shop. So we got a different project today. We're working on a seatbelt bracket for a motor car. This is one that I've already made a while ago. Need to make the one for the other side. So this is a welded piece that bolts to the bottom frame of the car. I will get in a little closer and see how that works. But uh, simply put, this is an offset, it's kind of blown out. This is one side of the, the seat belt, and this is the other. So we're going to play around with making the other one of these for the other side of the car. We'll take a look here first. There's actually three fasteners. There's one underneath here, one underneath here, and one nut that you can see here. And then the fasteners come up through the frame of this whole thing underneath. So we'll go over to the other side where there is nothing and you'll see more how this goes together. So here we go, kind of bad lighting, but this fastener here, this one, and this one are the ones that uh, all were drilled out to half inch and we use grade 8 bolts. Uh, a piece of square tubing sits over top of all this you saw we had the uh, welded nut for this one and then there's nuts welded inside for the other locations here so we'll take some measurements and we'll start making this up okay so we're looking at about 14 and a half inches here nice and tight might have to do a little grinding to get that to fit in there but it's what I did on the other side made it nice and tight then we'll transfer the holes and drill some holes. Okay, we've got a mark here. Got another mark. We're gonna see how square this thing's cutting, and we're gonna go ahead and make these parts up. There we go. Let's see how this thing looks. Looks like we got a little bit of an angle on it. It's not bad. I think we got it. All right. So, loosen this up, move it over, make another cut. Okay, so we got our second mark here. We'll make our second cut. There we go. Nice straight cut. Okay, so we're going to work on this here. Uh, this has some surface rust on it from sitting around for a while, so always make sure your workpiece is clamped down. We're going to clean that up. Okay, there we go. Good enough for now. Nice and shiny. We'll probably clean it up a little bit more before we paint it, but that'll be good for now. Okay, so we're going to start taking this apart. Got an impact gun, mid-depth socket. Get on that on the underside. Get on it here. That quick, it's apart. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Get that bolt out. All right, and the center little guy. That one sheared off, so. Which happens when you go to take stuff apart. Sometimes you shear. Shear them off, which doesn't matter as long as you can get it out. 
Coming in close. Alright, there we go. That's out. Okay, so we got this clamped in here. We got our transfer punches, three eighths and quarter. These are uh, basically center punches with a hole for making centers in holes. This just makes a little divot in your in your workpiece. So we're gonna put them up in the bolt holes in the bottom. Make sure they're all the way up. You don't want to kill them, but you do want to get them in. Actually got it. Who knew? So there we go. There's there's that one. Center one. And that one. Okay, so we got the other two bolts temporarily in this hole to keep everything lined up underneath. And we're going to drill this quarter inch hole out to a half inch. Okay, so we got one of the new fasteners. We put that down in our hole. Take out our old one. Move our lighting over a little. We'll drill our nuts off another hole. Another new fastener in here. Take this guy out. Now, yeah, so I have a gooseneck drill here. We'll see if we can get that underneath here. Drill out this last one. Seems we're interferenced at the, uh, yeah, I think we can do this at the side. Okay, so there we go. Got all three holes done. Now we can move along and start working on our frame. Alright, here we go. We're going to drill some holes. We center punched everything. Go ahead and drill the holes. Since I got this set up, I'm going to go ahead and change drill bits and drill all the holes, or drill up the size in one shot here. Okay, so we got this up on something because our center hole does need to go all the way through the workpiece. So what we're going to do is we've got this centered up again. We're going to make a little indent with this larger drill and we're going to change over to the pilot drill again. And a hole is born. Okay, since we're step drilling, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of this tubing that is 
see here. We are just over 5 8 OD. Make sure we get that on there. Good. Yeah, we're right around a 5 8 OD. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of this tubing. The, the size of the thickness of this. And we're going to inset it in there so that when we run our bolt through, you can see the bolt, it's clearance hole for the bolt, we aren't crushing this tubing and we get a good um, connection. You'll see. All right, it might not be the prettiest uh, in the world, but freshly touched, not perfect. A little bit of a spot in it there yet, but this should work. Okay, so here we go. We got our sleeve cut to size, and that's going to go in here just like that. Sit flush. The only thing we have to do yet is countersink this a little bit so we have a place for weld to go. And we don't grind all of our weld off. And then we'll try not to uh, run it too hot and burn into here. But when you do this, you weld, weld one side, take the drill bit up through the other to clear it out, flip it over, weld the other side, take the drill bit through. You'll see. Okay, so here's what we were talking about. We are talking about welding the sleeve to here, and we'll do that right now. Okay, so I had the machine set a little hot, but all you got to do is uh, work with the trigger, and you can get that. You can get through that. Okay, so you can see I got a little porosity in the weld right there, but for what we're doing, it'll be just fine. Okay, so we got this set. We'll drill this hole. Have a good clearance hole. Just like that. So now we can weld this side. Do the same thing again. weld right there. Let's see if we can't doctor this up a little bit. Must be some dirt in there. We'll grind it out. It'll, it'll be alright. Alright, here we go. We'll clean up this side. Alright, there we go. You can see there's a bit of porosity in that weld. Maybe. Don't want to focus. There we go. 
You can see there's a bit of porosity in that weld. This tubing has a lot of oil on the inside of it and I really have a hard time trying to get it clean. So sometimes it welds good, sometimes you get porosity in it like this. Uh, for what we're doing here, this is essentially an interior washer. That'll be fine. It'll be alright. So there we go. There's the other side. Uh, we have our sleeve straight through there. Take our bolt through here. We'll have a nice uh, easy way to clamp that straight through. Full force. We won't have to worry about crushing the tubing. All right, we got it tacked up. Let's weld it up. Okay, so there we go. Got this end welded up. Flip it around and do the same again. Okay, so there we go, we got the other side plugged up. Now what we can do is we can work at uh, getting our vertical piece in and starting to lay all that out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try and make a 45 degree cut right with the uh, angle here. Okay, second cut here. There we go. Not bad for an abortion, eh? Okay, so we've been doing a bunch of welding since we've been last here, but I just wanted to show this. This is a nut welded to a piece of square. It's still hot, because I just welded it. And that's going to sit on this tubing we have this tubing here that's gonna sit captured in that tubing so then we can run a bolt into there so that's gonna get welded on there like that and that's pretty much gonna be the last piece of this everything else was cut and fit it's just kinda hard to get some camera angles uh, we'll get it into the uh, motor car and, and we'll show you what it looks like then from there.
right, hopefully we got something decent there. Okay, so here we are, back at the motor car. This is all freshly welded up. And what's gonna happen here is we have two pieces. We have the part with the, the buckle here that is going to go into here on this bolt, just like that. And go up behind the seat. And then we have this piece with the uh, Um, other part of the buckle and that is going to go right here now this is all warm yet so I don't want to leave it on there but that's going to go on here this comes out and you bolt it in so we're going to paint this get it ready to go in uh, this is going to fasten with Belleville washers there's going to be a, a bolt that goes through there into here because we have that captured nut welded in here. There we go, we started into that. And then there's going to be a nut with another Belleville washer on here to hold this on. Then underneath here, we're going to have a bolt and a nut. In this bolt position, there's another bolt position under here with a nut welded inside and another one here with a nut welded inside. So three points of attachment down here, one here and one here. Should be good enough. I mean it's all tied into aluminum frame. I realize the way this is welded it could be gusseted to be stronger and what have you but uh, really I don't think these welds will fail in the time. You know if you take that hard of an impact that these welds fail you're, you're going to have other issues. So the, the idea here is to just keep you in the car. If you do derail, uh, you know, we're, it, it's not the idea of a, of a heavy impact. So it's just to keep you in place if things start jostling around a little bit. So there we go. Fits in the car. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. We'll get some paint on it and uh, get it installed. Okay, so here we go. We have a nicely painted bracket that we're going to install here. Get this paint tape off here quick. Okay, here we go. That should set down in there. Just like that. Okay. Have a Belleville washer and a bolt. That should go up in here. Okay. Belleville washer and a bolt. That should go up in here. started as well. Then a longer washer, a longer bolt, a nut, and a Belleville washer. I think I have a longer bolt somewhere for that center one. Alright, moving on here. So we got that fastener there, I don't have that one. I'll have to order one for there. But we can put the rest of this together. This guy here goes up in here. Like that. It's a Belleville washer. that and this guy 
the part of the seat belt gets a Belleville washer and a bolt goes together like that use this bolt instead there we go and that will go right here just like that so now take our impact gun tighten these up tight nice and tight okay that ain't going nowhere and we'll get this guy set just like that So that's all set in place. I just got to get that longer fastener for there, and that'll take care of that. So there we go. Another project finished up. Nice.